Coach, you say you, you've been consistent and steadily improving. Why do you think that that's been the case for you? Well, I mean, I'm just, I just have a lot of confidence right now. I've been in the program a few years, and uh, I'm pretty smart. I can pick up things pretty quick, and but just doing them, just that's really where I learned it. But I just, just having confidence, that's where it all comes from. Just having confidence in myself and my teammates around me. Uh, like I said, it's a, ten other guys out there with me. I just have confidence in myself and the guy to the left and the guy to the right of me. Just everybody's on the same page, and that we'll all do the right thing and get the job done. How nice is it to have a quarterback like Will Levis that's not afraid to try to find you guys? I mean, that's got to give you confidence in just having a guy like that throwing you the ball, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, like I said, like he's he's made some strides since he's been here, but like I said, just knowing that he's going to find me and that I can just do my job and then that he's going to do his and somewhere along the lines we'll meet up and make big plays. I'm kind of surprised. I, I would think that... If it was me, I came off a bunch of injuries. It'd be hard to find that confidence. Where did that where did that come from? Well, just like like I said, like this is really not I don't have much time and there's no time to waste. So like uh kinda had to just get over some of those fears and just stay in uh make sure I'm staying in the training room and just doing everything on my end. So that way I can play with my brothers up there. So how good did it feel to, to pull that good catch in though? It felt good. I mean it's been a long time coming, like I mean been open on some deep balls in the past and stuff, but just being unable to connect, but just Will's trust in me and just the accuracy and stuff. It felt good to finally connect and make a big play. On that big play, was it a better throw or a better catch? Uh, I'd have to say a better throw, for just because of the cloud coverage. I mean, it's pretty hard to find me over there, especially to the field, mm -hmm. and then getting it over that defender. I think it was a better throw, but for sure. Pretty decent catch, though. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you. Not drawn up that way. I mean, yeah. how, how aware were you of where you were at and where the ball was going? Well, I knew what the play was and I knew what my route was, but just based off the coverage, it kind of changed a little bit. But like, like with Will, you always have to stay alive, and you yeah, never know. He's a cannon, so like, no matter how far you are down the field, like he's always going to find you, and like he goes through his progressions pretty well. So you always got to stay alive and can expect the ball at basically any time. How confident is the receiver in that first game? Uh, I think I think a lot. I think um, just getting some different guys in. We got some young guys in the game. Uh, just everybody. I mean, everybody got some run and just got to spread it out. So now that we see like what we can do, I think it'll be good going into week two against Missouri. It does have to feel different after some of the weeks last year where there's not a pass. <laughs> it's hard to feel different. Yeah, like I said, uh, it doesn't matter who's making the plays. Like we're all we're all really close, and we're all like we're basically family. So whether if it's Wandell catching a touchdown, or myself, or Josh, or one of the tight ends, like you're always gonna see us cheering for the next guy and meeting him and having a party in the end. Was there a moment during the whole Yeah, I mean. Like, towards like towards the end, whenever I had to have a second operation, I kind of got a little weary. But like I said, I just put all my trust in God and just believe in His plan. There's not much that I could do on my end, but just make sure I'm taking care of everything I can in the training room and just let everything work out for itself. But I mean, like it was just had to stay the course, really. Just had to keep my head down, stay the course, and make sure I stayed around the team and everything like that. But like I said, it finally all came together. My time was fine. I never really thought about it. I just went out there and just played. Like, I mean, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. So, like I said, I just did everything on my end. As long as I control myself, then I mean, everything's like not really what happens to you, but how you react to it. So, I was just trying to do the best that I could and just put myself in the best position. Of course, this week the competition gets tougher against Missouri. What do you guys have to do to continue to to be open and be good receiving targets for us? Well, really, we just have to we just have to focus on ourselves and not so much the opponent. Make sure that we're staying detailed in practice and make sure that we're able to beat man coverage this week. And just like I said, just keep trusting in the man to the left and the right. Just to, like I said, if everyone trusts in. Uh, 
people on the field, like all, all 11 guys, then we can make something happen. Liam was saying that the, the defense they do play is more of a man coverage defense, right. so it's tighter windows for Will to try to fit the ball into. Do you prefer a man coverage defense, or do you prefer more of his own? I prefer a man coverage, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, just whatever the defense gives us, but this week I have full confidence in Will that he'll be able to fit those throws in, and we'll be able to defeat man coverage this week and hopefully come out with a W. Yeah, I mean, a little Josh. bit. I mean, we have to use that as motivation just because we didn't get the results that we wanted last year. But then also realizing that it's a new year and that we've reloaded a little bit. So we're ready to take them. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate you guys.